Hey, sir, um, we only have two episodes left of a, of a comic to kill. Well, since we have two episodes left, let's kill everybody. Seriously, that's what they were thinking. Let's freaking kill everybody. It's, we only have, like, two episodes left. Why don't we get the citizens to revolt against the government, and then Kurome dies, too? I mean, oh, yeah, she did die in the anime, um, by the way. That was a little bit sad, but it was really, it really wasn't, um, avoidable. It was unavoidable because we still want, needed to see that battle with Akame and Karome. And yes, this is going to be our, um, anime original ending. Now, aside from mine being dead, um, that's out of the way and all, but honestly, this felt a little emotional because, but we all knew that was what was going to happen because... I would really pitch a fit if Akame got, got if Akame died because I can't let I can't let my bait Akame die. But um, they had a flashback about they went back to this cathedral that they had reunited as when they were um younger and they were going like how they were the best assassins and then one day Akame left not um left and joined Night Raid and Karome was devastated because she left the capital not knowing um Akame left the capital knowing what the um. With the capital had the true power, but she um she left anyway, and Karomi was naive about why Akame left. So then she resented Akame. So it's almost like a Naruto scenario where Karomi is almost like Sasuke, and then Akame sort of like Itachi, except Ak um Akame like expresses her feelings more to Karomi because you know Itachi he didn't say anything. He expected to traumatize Sasuke and say, you know what, you need this to be good. Okay, okay, we'll go with that. But still, without further ado, we go into them, um, Akame versus, um, yeah, Akame versus Kurome, and they're all, they're going at it, and they're talking about, like, why did you leave Nairai and stuff, and then, um, her, she's using her Murasame, and then Kurome's using her, I forgot what her sword name was, but what that does is brings people back to life, and Natala and, um, her other, her other zombie that she brought back, they all got killed by a danger beast, and then for the one last time, we got to see Akame and Karome team up and take down this danger beast, and then Wave is gonna come in, Wave, Wave, you are so naive, like, let them finish the fight, you know, if you knew that, I mean, didn't the angel guy tell you they're gonna go and sort things out with her sister? If she, t if the guy tells you that you have uh, that Karame has sister problems, wouldn't it be more appropriate to just like stay there, like let let it go out? But Tatsumi was there, so I can't really argue with that. But Tatsumi stopped Wave, so um, he wouldn't interfere with the fight because when Wave came in, he's going like, "I will not stand anymore this night, Ray. I'll be your opponent." And then Tatsumi just comes and freaking hits him. So Tatsumi is the expert linebacker right now. And then when they're um. They finish their fight, and then it's one of those clashes where they take out their swords, and then they um, clash, and then we see which one died. Karome died, um, obviously, because Akame. Akame was just stronger, and at the end, Karome says, I love you, sis, and the feels, the feels hit me right here. My feels, my heart hurts more than when I was law, and Dolph Flamingo was um, squeezing my heart. Still, th that was a major feels, and then... I think we might see some Akame and Tatsubi since they're the only people left to pair. I mean, sure, we have Leone, but nah, it, it can't happen. But yeah, we might see some that actually because um, Akame just started crying in Tatsumi's arms, and that's how the episode ended. So, and then um, back at the beginning of the episode, we had the um, citizens rebelling against the government, and we also got to see the minister saying that you're the emperor, it's time to unleash your true power. So probably in the last two episodes, we're going to see everybody die against the Emperor, which I really don't see why. The Emperor's been this weak kid from the start. You're going to tell me that a mach an entire machine that even Dr. Stylish controlled is going to take out... No, no, no. You're not going to kill off characters on my watch because some puny kid um, takes out Night Raid. No. But still, um, tell me what, guys, how much did you cry in this episode? Um, did you think that Karame should have died? I'm um, in this episode and tell me what your thoughts on this overall but with all that this is um my time is done so thank you guys so much for stopping by if you guys like this review be sure to comment hit that like button like soul something and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more anime reviews and gaming if you guys like that too um the Nacho no ties up will be next um this tuesday because um subs don't come out the show comes out today but subs don't come out until like next tuesday but that's it for me and until we meet again